I was on Facebook last two weeks ago while checking my news feed. I saw a post, a post actually from a group called Student Around the World. And the post says, in China, a 16 years old student can create a robot. And in America, a 16 years old student can create a phone. But I wonder why in Africa, a 16 years old student can create nothing. Uh, the post was getting a lot of attraction. Many people were commenting and saying, oh, you know, this post is stupid. Or you think the white people are the only people to create good things? And others were like, you, you think the, white, the black people can create nothing? So before I give my commentary or before I add my commentary, there is something I want to say. This video has nothing to do with racism. So if you are racist, stay away from my video. So let's go to the topic. So here's why. You cannot expect from an armed soldier in a battlefield to kill thousand people. How? Let me break it down to you. You cannot expect from a soldier without a gun or weapon to go around and kill thousand people. It's impossible. And the same as we African students. We are unarmed. We don't have the necessary tools to be, to be creative, to be able to invent our, old, our own things. See, when you look at the schools in America or China or Europe, you'll notice that they are different from the school here in Africa. There, they, they do practical things. They, they, they make scientific researches. They, they do chemical experiments. See, they focus on practical studies rather than the, the theoretical studies, the chalk on the top way. But here in Africa, we do the chalk on the top way. Where, where, where a teacher standing in front of a bunch of students and writes something on the blackboard and after 40 minutes of the lessons, he walks away. And we students, we don't get anything from it. We forget what we were taught. Yet they blame us. They blame us for not being creative. And this really hurt me. And this is what made me to come up with this video. The problem is not with us. The problem was our educational system, where they prefer the, 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 the theoretical study or the theoretical studies rather than the, the, the practical studies. Have you wondered why the African student prefer studying in university abroad, university outside the continent, rather than studying in their, their own country university? It's all because of our educational system, with all due respect to our African leaders. So if we all guys want changes and development in every field in Africa, we must start by changing our education system from the, 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 from the, the, the theoretical studies to a practical studies. A practical study where, where, where an African student can try something by his hand, something he was taught in class by his hand. Thanks very much for watching my video, guys. If you really agree with what I was saying, please don't forget to add your opinion down, comment below, and tell the world that we are not stupid. You know, a lot of people, you know, they, they blame us, you know. You know, when you look at the kids in Africa, in America or China, you'll see that they are, you know, intelligent. People say that they are intelligent. But guys, please comment down and tell them that we are not stupid. We are not stupid. And we can create those things if they are provided for us.